Hello students, I am Dr. D.S. Veena, Associate Professor in the Department of Basic Science and Humanities, B.V. Raj Institute of Technology, Narsapur. Course name, Linear Algebra and Calculus. Topic name, Equations Reducible to Exact Differential Equations. In last class, we have done two methods to reduce the exact uh, equations to exact differential equations. Today, we will study the third method. Method 3. In the equation, in the equation mdx plus ndy is equal to 0, if dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x by n is equal to f of x, that is f of x function of only x or constant. If dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x by n is equal to function of x only or constant, then integrating factor is equal to e to power of integration f of x dx. So, if you multiply the non-exact differential equation by this integrating factor, the equation reduces to exact differential equation. So, let us take one example. Solve, solve 2xy dy minus x square plus y square plus 1 dx is equal to 0. So, now you should compare this to the form mdx plus n dy. So, see that first term is 2xy dy and minus x square plus y square plus 1 dx. So, write in the form of mdx plus n dy. So, minus x square plus y square plus 1 dx plus 2xy dy is equal to 0. So, compare this with mdx plus n dy. So, here m is minus x square plus y square plus 1 and n is 2xy. m is the coefficient of dx and n is coefficient of dy. So, now differentiate, we will check whether it is exact or not. Differentiate m partially with respect to y. Differentiate m partially with respect to y. So, we get minus 2y. Differentiate n partially with respect to x. Dou n by dou x is equal to 2y. So, you get dou m by dou y is minus 2y and dou n by dou x is 2y. So, it is not exact. Dou m by dou y is not equal to dou n by dou x. So, the given, the given differential equation is not exact. So, if it is not exact, we have to make it exact by multiplying by integrating factor. So, now, so what is the formula here? Now, you should check whether it is homogeneous. So, this each term is a first term is of degree 2, second term degree 2, third term 2 and last term is constant. So, it is not homogeneous. So, second method is you should check whether it is of the form f of f, f1 xy, y dx plus f2 xy, x dy. So, it is not of that form also. So, third method, method. what is that third method? Dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x by n. So, you have got already dou m by dou y is nothing but minus 2y and dou n by dou x is nothing but minus 2y by by n. What is n? 2xy. So, you get minus 4y by 2xy. So, y y get cancelled here. Here 2, 2. So, you get minus 2x minus 2 by x. So, this is nothing but function of x only. So, here what is the integrating factor? 
integrating factor is equal to e to the power of integration f of x dx. So, we get e to the power of minus 2 integration x dx. So, what do you get here? E to, so, what is the integrating factor? e to the power integration f of x, e to the power integration f of x dx. So, e to the power of minus 2 integration dx by x. So, you get e to the power minus 2 log x. So, what do you get? e to the power of log 1 by x square. So, have the formula that integrating factor e to the power log 1 by x square is nothing but 1 by x square. So, now you should multiply the given differential equation by 1 by x square. So, take this given equation as 1 multiplying given equation by 1 by x square. So, 1 by x square into 2xy. So, take this given equation as this equation as 1. So, what do you get? Minus x square plus y square plus 1 by x square into dx plus 2xy by x square dy is equal to 0. So, multiply each term by x square. So, what do you get? Minus 1 plus y square by x square plus 1 by x square dx plus 2y by x dy is equal to 0. So, now we should check whether it is reduced to exact or no. So, this, this is of the form m dash dx plus n dash dy is equal to 0. So, what is m dash here? m dash is equal to minus 1 minus y square by x square minus 1 by x square. What is n dash? n dash is nothing but 2y by x. So, differentiate m dash partial with respect to y. So, what do you get? Minus 2y by x square. Differentiate n dash partially with respect to x. So, what do you get? Minus 2y by x square. So, dou m dash by dou y is equal to dou n dash by dou x. So, now we have seen that dou m dash by dou y is equal to dou n dash by dou x reduced to exact. Why it is reduced to exact? Because it is multiplied by integrating factor. So, the given equation is reduced, reduced, reduced to given equation is reduced, reduced to to exact is reduced to exact. So, now we have to find the solution. So, what is the solution? Integrating m dash dx rating y y constant plus terms of n dash not containing containing x dy is equal to c. So, what is m dash? What is m dash? Minus 1 minus y square by x square minus 1 by x square into dx keeping y constant plus what are the terms of n dash not containing x? You have seen that n dash term not contain no terms are there. So, you should take it as 0. So, you take it as 0 dy is equal to c. So, now integrating this term what do you get here? Minus keeping y as constant minus x. So, this uh, keeping this y as constant we get minus x plus y square by x plus 1 by x is equal to c.
So this is the answer. Okay. So let us move to the next method. So for the equation, method 4 in the equation m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 if if dou n by dou x minus dou m by dou y divided by m is function of only y or constant. If dou n by dou x minus dou n by dou y by m is equal to function of only y or constant, then integrating factor is equal to e to the power of integration g of y dy. So, this integrating factor you should multiply to the non-exact differential equation it reduces to exact. So, let us take one example. Let us take example. Solve, solve x y cube plus y dx plus 2 x square y square plus x plus y to power of 4 dy is equal to 0. So, it is of the form solution. So, it is of the form m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. So, comparing what is m here? m is equal to x y cube plus y and what is n here? 2 x square y square plus 2 x plus 2 y to the power of 4. So, what is m? It is nothing but coefficient of dx x y cube plus y and what is n? 2x square y square plus 2x plus 2 y to the power of 4. Now, let us check whether it is exact. So, differentiate m partially with respect to y. So, what do you get? 3x y square plus 1. Differentiate n partially with respect to x. So, what do you get here? Differentiate n partially with respect to x. So, what do you get? 4x y square plus 2. So, now check that dou m by dou y is not equal to dou n by dou x. Dou m by dou y is not equal to dou n by dou x. So, the given differential equation is not exact. So, since it is not exact, you have to make it exact by multiplying by integrating factor. So, uh, we cannot apply by all the three methods first. So, we, uh, we can apply by the fourth method. What is the fourth method? Dou n by dou x minus dou m by dou y divided by m. So, take it as dou n by dou x as 4 x y square plus 2 minus 3x y square minus 1 divided by m. What is m? x y q plus y. So, what do you get? If you simplify this, we get it as, we get it as x y square plus 1 divided by, in the denominator we can take y common, y x y square plus 1. Now, see that the numerator term and this term get cancelled. So, what it remains? 1 by y. So, 1 by y is nothing but function of only y. So, now integrating factor. What is integrating factor? e to power integration g of y dy. So, is equal to integration, integration. What do you get here? 1 by y dy. So, what do you get integrating factor? e to the power of log y is equal to e to the power log y is nothing but y. So, integrating factor here is nothing but y. Okay. Now, you should multiply equation 1 by y. 
so that it reduces to exact differential equation. So what do you get? Y into x y cube plus y dx plus 2y x square y square plus x plus y to power of 4 dy is equal to 0. So if you multiply y within x y to power of 4 plus y square x y to power of 4 plus y square into dx plus 2 x square y 2 x square y cube plus 2 x y plus 2 y to power of 5 into dy is equal to 0. So now this is of the form m dash dx plus n dash dy is equal to 0. So what is m dash comparing you get is nothing but coefficient of dx x y to power of 4 plus y square and n dash 2x square y cube plus 2xy plus 2y to the power of 5. Differentiating m dash partially with respect to y. So what do you get? 4xy cube plus 2y. Differentiating n dash partially with respect to partially with respect to x. So what do you get? 4xy cube plus 2y. Now check it. Do m dash by do y is equal to do n by do x. Do n dash by do x. Why it is exact now? We because we have multiplied by integrating factor. So do m dash by do y is equal to do n dash by do x. So the given differential equation is reduced reduced to exact. So when it is reduced to exact, what is the solution? Solution is nothing but solution solution integrating m dash dx keeping y constant plus terms of terms of n dash not containing not containing x dy is equal to c. So what is m dash terms? You know that. What is m dash? x y to power of 4 plus y square into dx keeping y constant. And what are the terms of and what are the terms of n dash not containing x? First two terms contain x. The last term does not contain x. So you should take this term 2y to power of this term you should take 2y to power of 5. So in plus integrating 2y to power of 5. This is a term which does not contain x dy is equal to c. So now integrating first term with respect to x keeping y is constant. So y to power of 4 is constant. Integration of x is nothing but x square by 2 y square is constant integration is x plus integrated y to power of 5 with respect to y 2 y to power of 6 by 6 is equal to c. So now we can remove this fraction by multiplying throughout by 6. So what do you get? 3 x square y to power of 4 plus 6 x 6 x y square plus 2y to power 6 is equal to 6c. So 6c can be replaced by one more constant that is k. 3x square y to power of 4 plus 6xy square plus 2y to power of 6 is equal to integration constant k. So this is the solution. So let us move to the next method that is the last method. So let us move to the next method that is the last method. So let us go to method 5. So that is method 5. 
for the equation equation of the form of the form x to power of a y to power of b m y dx plus n x dy plus x a dash y b dash m dash y dx plus n dash x dy is equal to 0. If the equation is of this type, then integrating factor here is x to power of h y to power of k. How to find this h and k is nothing but using the relation a plus h plus 1 by m is equal to b plus k plus 1 by n. And one more relation a dash plus h plus 1 by m dash is equal to b dash plus k plus 1 by n dash. Okay, this is the fifth method. So, let us take one example. Solve, solve 4xy plus 3y to power of 4 dx plus 2x square plus 5xy cube dy is equal to 0. Take this equation as 1. So, compare this with m dx plus n d y is equal to 0. What is m here? It is nothing but coefficient of dx. What is n? It is nothing but coefficient of dy. So, m is equal to 4 x y plus 3 y to power of 4 and n is coefficient of dy 2 x square plus 5 x y cube. So, m is nothing but 4 x y plus 3 y to power of 4 and n is nothing but 2 x square plus 5 x y cube. So, differentiate m, differentiate m partially with respect to y to check exactness, differentiate m partially with respect to y. So, what do you get? 4 x plus 12 y, 4 x plus 12 y cube. Differentiate n partially with respect to x, 4 x plus 5 y cube. Now, check it that dou m by dou y is not equal to dou n by dou x. Now, you this, this given differential equation, the given differential equation is not exact. So, since it is not exact, you have to make it exact by multiplying by integrating factor. Now, check it here. We cannot apply the first four methods. So, we should apply the fifth method. So, what is the fifth method? You should write in that form. So, if in the equation 1, we can take, we can write in the form by taking the in first term and in the second term. In the first term, if I take uh, x common, so what do you get? If I take x common, x you take 4y dx and second term here, if I take x common plus 2x dx. Next term, if I take in this term y common, y cube common and here y cube, so what do you get? y cube if you take common 3d 3 uh, 3y. So, if you take the first term y cube common y cube 3y dx plus in this term if I take y cube common what do you get 5x dy is equal to 0. So, it is in the form of compare it is it is it is in the form of x to power of a, y to power of b, m y dx plus n x dy
it is in the form of x to the power of a y to the power of b m y dx plus n x d y plus x a dash y b dash m dash y dx plus n dash x d y is equal to zero. Now comparing, we get comparing this equation. This equation, what is a is nothing but one. We have, don't have y, so we can take b as zero. What is m? M is nothing but coefficient y to four. What is n? Is nothing but two. Now comparing here, a dash you don't have x to power of, so a dash you can take it as zero. B dash as b dash as three. M dash as three. N dash as five. So you have the two uh, here. Integrating factor is nothing but here. Integrating factor is. X to power of h, y to power of k. So, how to find h and k? We have the relation a plus h plus one divided by m is equal to b plus k plus one divided by n, and a dash plus h plus one divided by m dash is equal to b dash plus k plus one divided by n dash. From first relation, we can find what is a. One plus h plus one divided by m. What is m? Four. And from second relation, what we can find? B is nothing but zero plus k plus one divided by what is n is two. So what do you get from this equation? Is nothing but h minus two k is equal to zero. You can take this equation as two. Now what is the next relation we get? If you substitute a dash as Zero plus h plus one divided by m dash is three, and b dash is three plus k plus one divided by what is n dash five. So this gives equation as five h minus three k minus seven is equal to zero. Five h minus three k minus seven is equal to zero. So from these two equations, solving, solving the simultaneous equation two and three, that is h minus two k is equal to zero and five h minus three k minus seven is equal to zero. So we get h is equal to two and k is equal to one. So what is the integrating factor now? X to power of h, y to power of k. That is nothing but x to power of two y. So this you should multiply to the given equation one. It reduces to exact. Multiplying, multiplying one by integrating factor is equal to x square y. So what do you get? X square y into four four x y plus three y to power of four dx plus x square y two x square plus five x y cube y cube. dy is equal to zero. So multiplying this within, we get four x cube y square plus three x square y to power of five dx plus two x to power of four y plus five five. X to power of four, y to power of four, dy is equal to zero. So now this is of the form m dash dx plus n dash dy is equal to zero. So we get here five. My mistake I have written five x cube, five x cube y to power of four dy. So we get I am comparing. We get four x cube y square plus Three x square y to power of four y is nothing but m dash m dash 
and what is n dash 2x to power of 4y plus y x cube y to power of 4 as n dash. So now differentiating m dash partially with respect to now comparing we get m dash m dash is equal to 4x cube y square plus 3x square y to power of 5 and n dash as 2x to power of 4y plus 5x cube y to power of 4. So differentiating m dash partially with respect to y. So what do you get? If you differentiate m dash partially with respect to y, what do you get? 8x cube y plus 15x square y to power of 4. Differentiating n dash partially with respect to x, what do you get? This one, 8x cube y plus 15x square y to power of 4. Now compare dou m dash by dou y is equal to dou n dash by dou x. So the given, the given equation is reduced, reduced, is reduced to exact. is reduced to exact. So the solution is solution is integrating m dash dx keeping y constant plus terms of terms of n dash not containing not containing x dy is equal to c. So what is m dash 4x cube y square plus 3x square y to power of 5 dx treating y constant because what are the terms of n dash not containing x? We do not have any term not containing x. So you should take it as 0 dy is equal to c. Now integrate this term integrate with respect to x keeping y as constant. So what is that? 4 x to the power of 4 by 4 y square plus 3 x cube by 3 y to the power of 5 is equal to constant. 3 3 get cancelled, 4 4 get cancelled, you get answer as x to the power of 4 y square plus x cube y to the power of 5 is equal to c. So this is the answer. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.